Hello everyone, welcome to VA Tech Talks. As part of AWS integration with the MuleSoft series, we are going to talk about the below use case today. Okay, the use case number three. How to fetch or retrieve the data from S3 bucket? So far, we have seen to create AWS account and create S3 bucket using MuleSoft and create a file or file and store the data into S3 bucket. And today we are going to see this one. Okay, fetch retrieve data from S3 bucket. So far, okay, we have uploaded five files here. Okay, I want to retrieve any one file. Okay, suppose I want to uh, retrieve this file or I want to retrieve this. I want to get this data from AWS S3 bucket. How to do it? It's very simple. Let's get started. Okay. I'm using my old project only. So what you can do, you can go to file and create new project, create new mobile project and add the listener and set up the resource path then add the logger. Okay. Next. So if you are not able to see this module, Amazon S3. So what you can do, go to search and exchange type Amazon. Okay, type Amazon so that it will display all the connectors. Okay, Amazon S3 and SQS and DB. Okay, so there are many things, but here you need to choose Amazon S3 connector. Okay, click on this add and finish. So once it is done, so you'll be able to see these many options. Okay, now what is your requirement? We need to fetch data from S3 bucket, correct? So in order to fetch, in order to fetch, we need to use get object. See, if you place the cursor over here, retrieve objects from Amazon S3. So you can see the description. See, if you are not aware of what is this connector, it will show you, okay, as soon as if you place the cursor over here, okay, delete object, delete objects, create object, copy object, something like this. Now we need to use, we need to use get object. What this will do, it will retrieve the data from Amazon S3, okay. Now I am going to drag this connector and I'll comment this port object as of now. Right click and toggle comment. Okay, this way we can comment out. Next, in order to connect, okay, in order to connect, we need access key and secret key. Okay, so how to generate this access key and secret key? You can go to your profile. It's like VATEC security credentials. Security credentials. So here you can see access keys. Access keys. So here you can click on. I have already generated this one, but what you can do, you can create access key. So by clicking this one, we can able to generate access key and secret key, okay? Now, go to S3. So from which bucket we need to perform an action, okay? I want to perform actions from S3 bucket sample, okay? So here I want to fetch the data. So that is the reason I have configured my bucket name also the configuration file. Now, you can go to get object. Click on this edit. See, here you need to configure AWS access key and secret key. 
this is very important next click on okay now get object see the bucket name you need to mention the bucket name is available here aws bucket name so how to read the external properties by using dollar flower braces aws dot bucket name done now the object key i want to send it via postman or thunder right because so every time the user want to see suppose see first time i want to see this data second time i want to see this data third time i want to see this data so every time we need to change right so if we hard code here what will happen so every time every time you need to change in a api okay so instead of doing this so always not only this means of whatever the programming language you are learning okay so it should be an user friendly always okay then how we need to give i can use i'll pass it via query parameters or uri parameters so if you want to pass query parameters attribute start query pumps dot okay i'll keep it as file name so this time what it will do so as soon as if you pass the input it will come here and automatically it will fetch the data okay let's try to run this one and meanwhile i'll prepare a endpoint for this so far we have seen s3 bucket creation store data and now fetch data new request fetch data from s3 so local host 8081 aws the file name i am going to provide here okay suppose i want to read the data from this file okay employee underscore data underscore one dot csv so i can pass it here okay let's see whether the application is deployed or not so once it is deployed we'll trigger this so meanwhile once again so we need access key and secret key to connect with aws okay this you need to configure here okay access key and secret key the region automatically it will come or else you can choose here okay what is the region you want to pick it okay so that is up to you so which region you are using click on cancel now just we need to configure bucket name and object key object key in a sense file name okay now we can see the application is deployed okay still it is deploying in local so it's almost done wait for a few seconds and i will trigger from thunder client okay the jar is created okay still it is not at deploy So the path name is which one we have given okay aws only that's fine
okay it is deployed now so that we can execute our program our ap okay now localhost 8081 see if you remove this query parameter what will happen see aws so whenever you are going to provide this query parameter just you have to check this option here and click on send see what we are doing so we are fetching the data from aws s3 bucket okay so this is the data it is available now i want to read this for suppose see here it's very simple just change the file and send it see now this file is different this file is different okay now i want to read this json file so that is the reason i have given the query parameter here so from query parameter so dynamically i'm passing the values see now so how it is coming so it is in a json format only okay it is in a json format so this and all i mean so so how to remove this slash and so this and all what you can do so if you want to see some structured data some structured data so here you need to perform data wave operations okay data wave operations so anyway so in the next video we are going to see read the data from okay read the data from s3 bucket and insert into snowflake so this is one of the real time use case okay so how mulesoft is going to help and what are the challenges we are going to face okay that's what we are going to see in a next video okay the next video so that's it for this video thanks for watching this please try to practice happy learning